Now let's look at 5.3 where it asks you to implement the function using 2 to 1 mux. So in this case we have one selector. Same thing as before, I'm going to select my first variable as a selector. And there are two cases for this, 0 or 1. Then I'm going to fill this out. I'm going to color this as purple. And I have B, C, and D left. Right. And so I have many cases for that, which is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. And then just keep going. So I have eight cases for B, C, and D. And I'm going to color this orange. Okay. So, same thing as before, to get these values, I'm going to look up this table right here, and I'm going to fill it out this way. So it's going to be 0, 1, 1, x. Zero one x one one zero 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 one zero one zero. Okay. So after filling out this table, I write i zero here and i one here. Now I have to find out what i zero is in terms of b c d. So since we have three variables, it's hard to get this function. Again, I'm gonna write a k map. With B, C, and D. So B has two possibilities. C, D is 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. Notice how for KMAP we write 1, 1 first and then 1, 0. Don't mess this up. Okay? So now we're looking at this one right here, right? So we just have to fill it out. 0, 0, 0 is 0. 0, 0, 1 is 1. 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1 is x, and then 1, then 0 here, 1 here, then 1, 1, 1 is 1, and then x here. So we can draw two big circles, so this is one circle, and this is one circle, okay? So this whole thing, and this whole thing. So that is going to give me... C or D. Okay, so now for I1, I'm going to draw another K map. So each each one of these rows is going to be one K map. Okay, so 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. I'll fill this out. 1, 0, 0, 0, and then 1, 0, and then 0, 1, okay? Then this one, I can draw one circle here. And then to cover this one, I can draw this circle. So wrap around like that. And that is going to give me C not D not or I'm with V D not, okay? Again, all materials. Now, so this one is in terms of two variables, this one in terms of three variables. So we're not done yet. So we have to work on this one first. Now let's work on this one, I0 first. Now again, we have one selector. So I'm just going to pick the first variable that I need as my selector. So in this case, I'm going to pick... In this case, I'm going to pick B, okay? So the next variable. So this is going to be 0 or 1. And then here, CD, we have four cases, right? 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. Okay, so here, again, we're just looking this up right here. So what do we have right here? 0, 0, 0 is 0. 0, 0, 1 is 1, and then just fill it out.
and this is going to be my orange. Okay. So for each one of these row, I'm going to write J0, J1. Okay. So I have to figure out what J0 is in terms of C and D. And I can't tell from this, so I'm going to draw a K-map again. So for C, D, so this is 0, 1, 1, X. So I can make this circle, make this circle right here. And that is going to give me, this is D, that's C, so C or D. Okay. And then for, for this row, I'm going to draw another K-map. So 0, 1, X, 1. So this one, I can make one circle right here, and that's just going to be D. So here, this is one variable, so I'm done with this. Now, we're not done with this yet. Okay, so let's work on this one. Now, again, I have one selector. I'm going to pick the next variable as my selector, which is C. Color is purple. And then the other variable is D, right? So there are two cases for D. And then I'm going to color this orange. So we're looking at this row right here. So C, D is 0, 0, then it's 0. C, D, 0, 1, then it's 1. And then 1, X. Okay. So I'm going to name this K. Now for each one of these, we have to figure out it in terms of D. Now it's really easy because it's just one variable, right? So this one is just the same as D, and this is 1. Now it's just one variable, or 0 or 1, so we're done here. We're done with this. That means we're done with this, because this is this. Now we're done with this one, so now we have to work on I1 now. Now, let's work on I1. So, I1 is this, okay? So, we do the same thing. We have one selector, V, and then we have four cases. Let me move this one over. Let's move it over here. So we have B is 0 or 1, color is purple, and then we have CD, CD left, okay? So we have four cases again, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, or 1, 1. Now we have to fill this out, and we're looking at I1, right? So we fill it out using this row, so it's 1, 0, 0, 0, and then 1, 0, 1, 0, okay? Okay, now again, we have to figure out what JK, okay, I'm going to call this L, L1. Now we have to figure out what L1 is in terms of C and D, and L0, L0 and L1 in terms of C and D. Same thing, I'm going to have a K-map for this, And so we're looking at this one right now. So for this one is one zero zero zero. So it's just the same as C naught D naught. Okay. And then we're making another came up for L one.
So this one is 1010. Okay. And here we can make one circle. So this one is this one is just D naught. This one is one circle right here. So because this one is one variable, we're done. Now we have to work on this because it's still in terms of C and D. So to implement this, we have, again, two to one mux. So we have one selector. So I'm going to have a C as my selector and look at purple, zero and one. Now I have D is my last variable. So I have D equals zero, D equal one. And we're looking at this one right now. So it's one zero 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 one zero 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 and this is my orange box. So for each one of these orange box I'm gonna write M zero and M one. Now I have to write M zero in terms of D and this is easy. This is just D naught and this is just zero. And because this is just one variable, we're done. Okay, so we're done with this. We're done with this. So we're done. Now, how do we draw it? Um, okay. Let's make a new. So again, we start from the lowest level. So my lowest level is all the way down here with selector C. So let me draw this mux first. So selector is C. And then I have K0 and K1. Okay, and then K0 is D, and K1 is 1. Okay, so on the other side, I have another mux here with selector C. And then it is M0 and M1. M0 is D naught and M1 is 0. Okay, so we're done with that level. Now we're gonna go up here. So this one mux right here is R, C, or D, right? So this one is going into my the mux that select has D as the selector. And there's a J0 here, and a J1. So J0 is taking the output from this mux. So this one is J0, and J1 is just D. Okay. Now on the other side, I have also selecting B. So you see right here, also the selector is B. And we have L1 and L0. Okay, so we have another mux. Selector is B, and we have L0 and L1. Okay, L0 is taking the output from this mux right here. So L0, and then L1 is just D naught. So after this, then we have another mux right here, which is this big box right here with A is the selector. 
So we have A is our selector, and we have I0 and I1. Okay, and I0 is taking the output from here, and then I1 is taking the output from here. And then we have the output. So we write F of A, B, C, D here. So, yeah, so this is our final answer for 